If you have an instrument rating, you're probably pretty familiar with picking up an IFR clearance. And if you don't, it's basically the instruction set you'll use to get to your destination. It follows the CRAFT acronym, and that stands for your clearance fix, essentially where you're going. Generally, it's your destination airport. The route of flight, which can be as simple as as filed, or it can be an amended clearance, which will give you a new route through fixes and nav aids. It includes your initial altitude that you'll fly at, your departure ATC frequency, and then your transponder code. At a busy airport, you usually pick this up over the radio on clearance delivery. And most of the time, as long as you're cleared as filed, the exchanges are short. They sound something like this. Line of clearance, AC4917 going to VPS, negative PDC. AC4917 cleared to VPS via the Novice 7 departure. Sarge transition as filed, climb via the SID, squawk 3524. Clear to VPS via the NOV 7 departure, Sarge transition is filed, climb via the SID, and squawk 3524 for AC 4917. AC 4917, read back correct. However, if your route's been amended, picking up an amended clearance can be a bit of a mess. First of all, ATC's reading it quickly, so you're frantically trying to scribble down fixed names for your new route of flight. Leaves a lot of room for error. And that's where the pre-departure clearance, or the PDC, comes in. Essentially, the pre-departure clearance is a digital ATC clearance that you'll get across your flight management system. And since you don't have to call for it over the radio and it already comes written down, it reduces the chance for errors. Here's how it works. At major airports that have PDC, air traffic control towers have a computer that's tied into participating airlines dispatch systems. It's called a passive tap, but essentially it's a wiretap on the flight planning system. And once the flight plans are done at dispatch, they're automatically picked up by the air traffic control tower. Once the tower has an IFR clearance ready, they'll electronically transmit that clearance to dispatch, which automatically relays it to the aircraft. That relay generally happens over ACARS, and that stands for the Aircraft Communication Addressing and Reporting System. It's actually just an SMS system between dispatch and aircraft. From there, the flight crew will pick up their PDC on the FMS, and if you have an ACARS printer, you can print it out as well. The advantage here is whether your clearance is amended or not, you have an exact written copy. You really cut down on errors. Plus, you're cutting down on radio chatter over clearance delivery. And if you could imagine a major airport like Atlanta, where you have hundreds of flights all looking for clearances at the same time, that frequency can get pretty busy. So what happens if you don't have PDC or if you don't like the clearance you got? Well, it's simple. Call up ATC over clearance delivery and you can request a new one. So, if you're flying into a major airport, you've got clearance delivery tuned up, and you don't hear anything, chances are your radio's not broken. It's just that the aircraft are using PDC.